Hey folks, how are you doing here? It's Mr. Carter, ready to do Homelink uh, 1.9. Uh, go ahead and put your name on this if you haven't yet already, and let's begin. Okay, so we are doing U.S. traditional subtraction for this piece of homework tonight. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make an estimate first, and then we're going to write a number model to show what we did with that. And then we're going to solve U.S. using U.S. traditional subtraction. And then finally, we're going to compare our answers to see if they make sense. Okay. So we're going to do 85, take away 38. So we're going to start with 85. We're going to estimate that and round it to 90. That's a close to number. And then we're going to take away 40, because 38 is close to 40. And 90 take away 40 you would be 50. And you can do that by counting up from 40 to get to 90. Uh, by tens if you need to. And now we're going to subtract. Well, five, we always start with our ones place. And we're doing five take away eight. And we can't do that. We've got to trade. So we're going to take this eight and trade it and make it a seven. And we're going to trade in that one for ten ones. And we're going to add those ten ones to the five we already have, that making it fifteen. So now fifteen take away eight is seven. And 7 take away 3 is 4. 447 is our answer. And that makes sense because our, our estimate is 50. All right, so now we're going to do 613 take away 249. So now we're going to go 600 take away, because we're going to take 613, make it uh, 600. And 249 is real close to 250. So we're going to do that in our answer for that would be 350. And again, I know that because I can count up real quick uh, from 250 to 600 to get 350. Now, uh, 3 take away 9. Again, we cannot do that. So we're going to have to trade. I'm going to take this 1 and trade it in. It's going to become 0. And we're going to take those that 10 that we're trading in for 10 ones. And now it's going to be, and we're going to add it to the three ones that we already have to make it 13 ones. 13 ones take away nine ones are four. Now zero tens take away four tens. We cannot do that. So we're going to trade again. So we're going to go take away one from the 100 from the six, make it out of five. Trade it in for 10 tens, and that would become 10. 10 take away four is six. Five take away two is three for 364 which makes sense because, again, it's close to our estimate. All right, 506 take away 187. So we're going to go 500 take away 200. And that would be 300 is our estimate. Now, the this is written horizontally, and I like to subtract um, using uh, vertical numbers. So we're going to go 506 take away 187. Switch and make it vertical. Again, you start with our um, ones place. Six take away seven. We cannot do that. We've got to trade. But in this case, now we don't have anything in the tens to trade with. So we've got to go to the hundreds. So now we're going to trade one of the hundreds. Make that a four. That's going to become now ten tens. Now we've got to take one of those tens and trade it in. So it's now going to become a nine. Sorry, I have to write it small up here. And so now we've got 10 ones added to the six ones that we already have. So that becomes 16 ones. 16 ones take away 7 is 9. 9 take away 8 is 1. 4 take away 1 is 3. For an answer of 319. Okay, so now I'm going to have you do 4, 5, and 6 on your own. See how you do with that. Make sure that you're doing your trading if you need to. Our practice is some addition. I'm going to do 7 for you, and I'll have you do 8 on your own. Let's see how you do that. So 7 is 740 plus 294. 0 plus 4 is 4. 9 plus 4 is 13. I'm going to carry the 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 9 and 10, so we put 0 and for the answer of 1,034.
1,034 is our answer. Okay, that'll do it for now. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, take care.